Okay, so welcome everyone. Today's session is on noticing intentions. And so the invitation in our practice today is to just notice um, what we intend to do, whether it is to take a breath in or to just release the breath or to even shift our posture or to even open our eyes or to even check the time. So we are noticing our intentions first before, just before we do that activity. And how is this useful for other parts of our life? Um, we're just cultivating that observational skill so that whenever we want to do something or say something in, in, uh, you know, in outside this Zoom space, for example, giving feedback to our colleagues. So we're noting our intentions first before giving that feedback and really zooming down to what our intentions are. Is it born out of our desire to make ourselves feel more superior or to feel great uh, when giving our feedback to uh, a, a colleague? Or is it to help the person or to criticize the person? So being very aware of our intentions because obviously it will change the dynamics of uh, the conversation. And so then as usual in the practice, I'll end off with a poem. So if I can just invite you to come to a, a comfortable sitting position. So in all our practices every Wednesday, the invitation is to really just take care of yourself. So finding a place where you can kind of close your eyes or just sit in quiet or in silence. And then you can also choose to stand if you wish, um, even midway in the practice. So you can choose to lie down as well, or you can sit on the mat or sit on the chair. So just coming to sit or stand or lying down on your mat, and just noticing the posture. So noticing the intention to notice the posture. And just placing your legs off feet on the floor or sitting cross-legged or closing your eyes or just leaving them open is fine. So just noticing And allowing this question to just drop in. What is my intention for today's practice? What is my intention for today's practice? And just allowing the question to just drop into the body. Just feeling the weights of the body on the chair or on the mat. softening the shoulders while well, as best as you can just sitting upright feeling engaged And as best as you can, just maintaining a soft front. Softening the chest. Connecting with the breath and just noticing the intention to connect with the breath. Being aware that you are aware of breathing in and breathing out. So not needing to breathe in any particular way.
practice in your normal pace will do. just staying with the intention of just breathing in and being conscious of breathing out every time the mind wanders wanders off drifting away just acknowledging where it has wandered to and very gently escorting the mind back to the breath just noticing the intention to bring the mind back to the breath. And as you are breathing in and breathing out, just dropping down further to the body and noticing the abdomen as you are breathing in, how the muscle of the stomach muscle expands, how it contracts. So noticing each time the intention to be aware of the movements of the belly at each in-breath and out-breath. And if you're starting to notice any reactions that may be arising, maybe that sense of wanting to check the time or check your messages on the phone, your emails. Well, then just noticing any intention to shift. And allowing yourself to just not have to react, not needing to act on those impulses in this practice. So just acknowledging that desire to do something and allowing yourself to just let that desire go. Now as you take an in-breath and then an out-breath, just dropping our attention further down to our feet, whether they're placed on the floor or if you're sitting cross-legged, just noticing your feet, your toes, tips of the toes, the nails, the toe joints. the arch of your feet. And 
and just placing your attention there on the feet and just noticing the intention to place your attention on the feet. Just feeling the toes, maybe a warm sensation or cool or cold or tingling. So not needing to think very hard about the toes, the feet, and just feeling your feet. And as best as you, as best as you can, just bringing a sense of kindness, non-judgment to your feet not needing to judge your feet. All we have to do is just to be with whatever feelings that are arising from the feet or any sensations that are being felt. And from your feet, Moving the attention to your fingers, noticing that intention to just move your attention and becoming aware that you're noticing your fingers, noticing the tips of the fingers, the nails, the joints, the knuckles, the softness of the palm, the wrist. So just breathing in and breathing out, feeling, noticing, acknowledging your fingers. Each time the mind wanders, just bring it back very gently, noticing the intention to bring it back to the fingers. And just feeling your fingers, softness of the palm, as best as you can, just bringing an intention of kindness and non-judgment to your hands, to your fingers. If you're noticing like restlessness or, or something is distracting you, perhaps a distracting thought, just very gently escorting the mind back to the fingers, feeling the fingers. Bringing an intention of curiosity to the fingers, to the knuckles, the joints, the nails. And taking an in-breath and out-breath, letting go of the attention from the fingers and bringing the attention to the chest area. Connecting with the breath again. And just noticing your intention to be with the chest area. And if it helps saying, my intention is to be with my chest area. 
And whatever feelings that may be arising, whether unpleasant ones or pleasant ones, unwelcomed or desirable feelings, just keeping and staying with the intention of just being with your chest area and just dropping in and just feeling what's there. Perhaps noticing the beating heart or the lungs expanding as you take an in-breath. I'm staying with the chest area, regardless how I'm feeling. So as you're breathing in, then just noticing the pauses between each breath, then noticing the intention to release the breath. Just being aware that you are exhaling, in inhaling, pausing, exhaling. Now, if there are any parts of the body that are calling for your attention, maybe a hungry stomach or a lower back ache or sh sore shoulders or a tight neck, and just bringing your attention Again, noticing the intention to bring the attention to that area of the body that's calling for your attention. So just breathing in and breathing out into that sensation. And allowing yourself to be just open and allowing the intention to just be with that sensation, whether it feels pleasant or not. And if you're not feeling any strong sensations anywhere, then you can choose where you want to place your attention, whether to stay with the chest area or to move to other parts of the body. And just dropping in and just feeling what's there. Maybe bringing a sense of curiosity and beginner's mind as if you've never experienced that feeling before. And if there are any strong sensations that are, that really feels unwanted, giving yourself permission to bring kindness to that sensation. To bring a kind response to that sensation. So we allow whatever that's arising for us and to just be with it. And that's our intention. And now from the chest area or to any part of the body where you've been focusing, just bringing the awareness and expanding it to 
to the body as a whole. Feeling a sense of openness or allowing yourself to invite a sense of openness. Feeling the face down to the neck, the chest area, torso, legs, hands, the back. And just simply allowing yourself to just be with the body. And not holding on to any particular agenda. And with that, just simply bringing to mind what was the intention that you had set for yourself in this practice. And to just stay with that thought. Not needing to judge that thought or dwell on it, but simply to just allow that thought to be. And now returning the attention to the breath. Once again, connecting with the breath. And I'll read you this poem by Mary Oliver. As you stay in this practice, it's called The Summer Day. Who made the world? Who made the swan and the black bear? Who made the grasshopper? This grasshopper, I mean. The one who has flung herself out of the grass. The one who is eating sugar out of my hand. Who is moving her jaws back and forth instead of up and down who is gazing around with her enormous and complicated eyes. Now she lifts her pale forearms and thoroughly washes her face. Now she snaps her wings open and floats away. I don't know exactly what a prayer is. I don't know how to pay attention, how to fall down into the grass, how to kneel down in the grass, how to be idle and blessed, how to stroll through the fields, which is what I have been doing all day. Tell me, what else should I have done? Doesn't everything die at last and too soon? Tell me, what is it you plan to do with your wild, with your one wild and precious life? The Summer Day by Mary Oliver. So just staying with our intentions of the day, of this practice, and just in the last few moments, just staying in silence. And opening your eyes when you're ready. Taking in this Zoom space again. So thank you very much for uh, being here today. It's good to see all of you.